Hi, this is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Atlas Health Australia. I want to share with you one of the major sources of stress that can have the potential to not literally, but certainly figuratively fry your circuits and leave you in a state of stress or what we're going to be calling here today as a defense physiology. Now, let me rewind a couple of things here just uh, so that you get a bit of a setting for the stage here. I want you to picture first your brain and your spinal cord, much like an electrical conductor, a computer, and all this sort of stuff. And each of the different vertebrae of the spine, particularly the ones that are happening up at the top, these things will act to a certain degree as surge protectors. In other words, the body can actually create a misalignment of a vertebra if there is too much information processing all at once. Now, the thing about that is that when the stress goes away, that vertebra is supposed to misalign or supposed to come back into normal alignment. And the problem is, is it's ever been injured in the past, okay, it can misalign, get stuck there, and then lead to a cascade of additional problems down the track. Now, we're not really talking about that, but I do want to set up this stage here that, okay, your brain is going to be using your spine and your body like a surge protector. And so if it is ever on excess capacity, then what it's going to do is it's going to be causing things in the spine to go out of alignment, ultimately so they can be brought back in. Now, this is all well and good conceptually, but I need to give things a bit of a proper context here. So think of your surge protector at home, and let's say that there's a breaker that goes, the switch goes, and you go back to the, the main power box, you flick the switch, but then boom, immediately goes out again. Well, why did that happen? Well, if you had the kettle running, and the washer, and the washing machine, and the microwave, and the vacuum, and et cetera, et cetera, all of these different things going on. It doesn't matter how good the system is, it's going to fry, it's gonna crash if it's not able to adapt to it, or it basically can't handle load. So when we're looking at a person's health, we're gonna identify three general categories of things that could potentially fry the circuits or that cause the body and the brain to have to adapt. So these are gonna be physical things. This is gonna include how well you're sleeping, how good your exercise is, how strong you are, do you have any old injuries, are you doing repetitively daily tasks that are pushing it to the breaking point. And I think that you can appreciate that those limits can be different. So some people it's gonna be this much, and other people their capacity is only like this. And it can vary from day to day. Let's say that you're normally here, but you had a really lousy night's sleep, Okay, there's not going to be as much capacity in that day that could potentially push you over your adaptive limit. So physical stress is going to be one thing. The second one's going to be chemical stress. So this is going to be what is in the air that you breathe, what is in your diet, what is it that you are ingesting, inhaling that is in your body that in some way or another is affecting your neurophysiology. And then the third one, and this is really the big one, this one is the emotional state of things. So this is gonna be who's at home, who's at work, who you associate with, who you don't associate with, money stress, car stress, work stress, job stress, all of these different kinds of capacities here. Now, this one here, and I think you can appreciate that all of these are present at any given moment, at any given time. The challenge is, is if they become overwhelming. And ultimately, and the reason that all of this matters and how this is gonna relate back to the surge protector is your brain, like a computer, is going to translate all of these things into binary. So anything that you see on a computer is all ones and zeros that have been programmed very cleverly in order to do all the amazing things that computers do. So same thing, your brain is gonna take all of these signals translate them into a common language that is of neurotransmitters, chemicals, and neural connections in the brain, and then interpret and make sense of this, decide, okay, is this good? Is this enhancing my capacity? Or, whoa, we don't like this. This is resistance. It's causing problems. And do we need to dampen that electrical signal by causing the body then to make a shift? Now, why does all of this sort of stuff matter? At least at the time of this recording, we're heading into the Christmas season. Now, it doesn't matter whether you do or don't celebrate Christmas. The world goes a little bit crazy at this time of year. When it goes crazy, whether you are partaking directly or not, there's going to be some kind of an effect. 
And so what can happen is when we have all of this additional running around, not sleeping as well, eating too much or at least too much of the wrong thing, and then just all of the pressures, the stress and all that sort of stuff here, it's going to ultimately, this is what we're saying, it's going to be challenging your system as much as possible. And like, much like if you ever get sick, you notice your body just gets tight and all this sort of stuff, that is because that is the normal ad adaptation of your brain using your spine to try to protect you. The problem with that is, is if you are under not short-term but long-term stress, what it's gonna do is it can potentially change the internal environment and leave you in a state of what is called defense physiology. This is where your adrenals, your sympathetic, your fight, flight, or free, freeze nerve system, they become imbalanced. They are, relatively speaking, overactive. You're going at high volume and ultimately things, you go like that for a long period of time, it's gonna to lead to a burn, it's gonna to lead to a crash. And so what these solutions are, and there's no one magic solution here, but there's a few things. So number one is if you've got too many things going on all at once, you've got to not find new things to do. The best thing you can probably do is probably stop subjecting yourself to some of the things that are causing you the greatest amount of stress in the first place. So what that'll do is that'll be like before you turn your switch back on, that's like turning a few of your appliances off so that it could handle. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to be looking at is ways that you can increase your capacity without breaking the bank. So some of the easy ones are making sure that you go to bed a little bit earlier, taking maybe a little bit care of your diet, going for a walk, meditating, different kinds of things like this, just that you find relaxing to help you decompress. And then the third one that we're gonna address here ever so quickly is okay, if you're doing all these things, but if you're still not feeling quite as good as you should be, then what's very likely happened is because all of the stress has been going on, if your body used, or if your brain used your spine as that surge protector, causing something to go out of alignment, it's very likely that it's probably still stuck there. And so this might be something then where you would need to have your spine properly aligned, looking at things in the top and the upper part of your neck, making sure that everything there is the way that it should be, so that by getting the system flowing again, working the way that it should, it's gonna allow your capacity to be able to increase, and then at least conceptually, is gonna allow you to better be able to handle all of these different things that are going on. So I know this isn't necessarily the, the easiest topic to follow, but what we're basically saying is that your stress in all of its different forms is gonna have an impact on your health, which is gonna affect the way that you can handle stress, which has an impact on your health, which is gonna affect the way that you handle stress. And this cycle, rather than letting it blow out of control, there's a lot of things that you can do to help break the cycle. Take better care of yourself, take it light and easy, and make sure that your system's actually able to adapt to the stress as good as it possibly can. Whew, that's a long one there. So if you do have any questions about this little video here, please do write them down in the comment section. We would love to hear from that. If you can think, again, especially as we're heading into the holiday season, somebody who probably should bear some of this stuff in mind, we would actually like you to please share this video with them. And then also, if you do have any specific questions, you're saying, okay, wow, that makes a lot of sense. I wonder if this might be related to something I have going on feel free to get in contact with us at atlashealthaustralia.com.au or through either Facebook, YouTube, any of the other social media. We'd be delighted to hear from you, help you in any way that we can. This is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Atlas Health Australia reminding you, take care of your neck. It's your lifeline to well-being.